A month has gone by since the city of Sacramento announced a lease agreement at the largest homeless encampment in the area called Camp Resolution, located at Colfax Street and Arden Way, and around 60 people are living there. ABC 10's Bridget Biorlo joins us live from outside the camp. So, Bridget, what is the latest on a lease agreement and what the projection is on how this is all going to go? Well, good morning. Well, we were just actually allowed to be inside this fenced in camp that, as you mentioned, is the largest self governed homeless encampment in the area that the city has long been at odds with homeless advocates over what to do with it. I want to show you since we're getting this new vantage point here, there is a steel fence that keeps everyone inside. It is secure. They have to check the people that go in and out to make sure they belong here. 54 people currently call this place home. The city providing these dozens of trailers so that these people can live and have some shelter. Note, though, there is no power to the shelters or running water or something that they are working on right now through the help of some nonprofits. And recently, the city entered an agreement, a lease agreement with a nonprofit called Safe Ground Sacramento. I want to bring in John here. You work with this nonprofit. You were formerly homeless. Why was it important to you to make sure that this site was a safe place for people who are experiencing homelessness? We need, we need a solution to the homeless problem. We're talking 10,000 people out here. And the solution so far has been police and, and pushing people out of areas, what we're calling sweeps. And that is not doing anything but pushing them into another place that they'll have to be pushed out of. So this is the kind of place where the buck stops here. This is where people could wind up and get to a place where they can get into real housing and get some real help with whatever the issues are that have made them homeless and keep them homeless. And the backstory with this is people can feel safe without feeling fearful of potentially being cleared out. And I want to show uh, you more about this site. John, one second. I want to show you there's a solar powered mobile charging station where people can charge their phones. This powers a couple of the trailers here. The rest of them, though, do not have running water. They don't have power. As you know, Walt, it gets very, very hot in the summer months. So that is something they are working on. But 54 people, John, still live here. And we're also learning that once those people are able to get permanent housing, uh, that is when the lease essentially would expire. But you're saying not so fast. You want to help more people after the 54 people get that permanent housing. Is that right? Well, I think we've got an endless flow of homeless people at this point. It seems overwhelming. But Probably. If, if we can figure out the, the barriers into trying to create reasonably priced um, housing for people, then perhaps we won't have any need for sleeps anymore and we won't have any needs for having people sleeping in the doorways and sleeping on the curbs in any place that we can find them. I live in the downtown now and I can barely walk down the street without running into to somebody who's sleeping there or yeah, I know where the, a lot of the people that were living on city sidewalks have come here because they feel safer here. They feel that they can rest easy, uh, have a place to sleep at night. John, thank you for what you're doing and thanks for taking the time to speak with us. Really appreciate it. Sure. And, John, and Walt, as you heard it here, uh, this is a camp resolution. We showed you a lot of images from the outside. Now we're inside, so you see how it operates. But as you know, uh, water is definitely a struggle getting that water. We have some volunteers who provide some bottled water so people stay cool, but they do have a long way to go in making sure that everyone stays cool in the hot summer heat, Walt. Yeah, that sun is beating down in the parking lot. Um, so you mentioned off the top, Bridget, that these ca this camp's, uh, camp is going to be self-governed. Who's in charge of law and order at a place like this? That's a great question, Walt. I want to show you again the gate that comes in. This opens and closes. It's manned by the people that live here. There's actual panel of people that are governing essentially this own place. There are no police here. Uh, there have been a couple issues with a small related crime, but nothing substantial from what I am told. A few people did have to be ejected, uh, but no major issues from what they say. They're, they want this to be as safe as possible, mm -hmm. and they're hoping that this could be a long-term solution, Walt, because as you know, a lot of people that are removed from homeless encampments, they don't want to go to shelters. They don't yeah. want to take advantage of that uh, the housing voucher system at the hotel. 
hotels, etc. They want a free space to go and roam, uh, and they feel like this is the best option for them moving forward. Yeah, if you want, uh, you want sponsored housing where there are rules, you have to play by those rules or else you're out, and a lot of people don't like to play by the rules. All right, Bridget Biorlo, uh, thank you. Again, that's Camp Resolution in the Del Paso Heights area of Sacramento.